video um, I want you to, I'm setting you a bit of a challenge here to try to create what I've got here I'll show you some of the elements I've got in there but I'm gonna leave it up to you to try and do most of this I'll create an extra layer that I've made into a sky I delete all the circles and stuff you've done to date and just try and do what I've what I've created here. So that's um, I created a layer called Sky. I've created a rectangular box using a rectangular tool over here. Filled it with blue. Put it on a layer. The bottom layer. Called it Sky. The clouds here that I've created they're on another layer and they're tween to move across. And the title, which is here, has been put on the layer underneath. So you get this effect where the eco site is going underneath. Now this is a site we'll be working on as a real kind of real world example. The end frame I've put welcome to the eco site that's going to be the about us page so it'll stop here when you click this button down here which is the about us button it will go to this frame when you click the home it will go back to frame 13 which has got the stop there. Um, they're both two action stops to do that. I'm going to tell you about the, the buttons down here because you just created circles last time. There is something to note about these. One is that I've put a block underneath it. I'm just going to go into that layer now and show you. I've created a block, a graphic, and I've just used a rectangular uh, tool, filled it, created a graphic, put it behind it, taken the alpha down to zero on that graphic. If I bring the graphic up you'll see. There it is. I don't want to see that, it's horrible. So I've created a rectangle, right click to convert to symbol, convert to graphic, then I'm able to go into the um, options here and I've, I've alphaed it down to zero. On the other one, I've left the frames, I haven't keyframed each one, I've just left it because it's just a block underneath them that you're not going to see anyway. Um, on the top I've done one in green and I've done one in white, one text in white and one text in the green. Um, the reason I put the block underneath is that if you didn't do that then you'd have to click over the actual lettering to actually be able to um, action it and by creating a block underneath it means that whole area is clickable and that's why I've done it. It's very important with text to make sure that you actually with a text that are converted to buttons that you actually put a block underneath, um, otherwise you won't be able to click it easily. Okay, the clouds I created here, which you did with the circles kind of, um, they're just going, in this case, right to left, um, left to right, sorry, eco site, the text is going left to right, right to left. Oh God. And um, yeah, that's, to create the clouds, really easy, all I did was um, create a circle like this, created another circle, another circle, then I got the selection tool here and I just clicked and held and dragged across and that will select the bottom half of that selection then I deleted and as you can see you can take bits out, you can do what you like, wherever you select it will take bits out. And then of course you could copy and paste that back in there. You could use a transform tool, take it down, move it across. Be careful to make sure that you do select it and you don't accidentally do that. Because once you do that, it becomes part of the block. So be quite careful with that. That's basically how I created the clouds, which you can see across. Then I obviously applied a tween to it. And that was it. And these have both got actions in them. One goes to the frame 13 and one goes to frame 14. So if I open the action palette now, you'll see on press go to frame 13. We did the on press command on, on the last video, so you should be familiar with that now. And the about us one is going to frame 14. So it, that's it, so that's your challenge, that's using everything that we know to date with this original file, the size of the artwork area is 800 by 600, you've got the background, frame rate 12, so try and recreate this, you shouldn't have any problems.
you've done everything you need to, to to be able to do this so have fun and try and create this file I'll just show you it working now This, by, by the way, I created a folder here called Ecosite where I'm putting all of the files that I use. So that's very important to keep your site structured and to keep everything in folders so that you know where everything is. Let me just export this file and show you it working. Eco site, put it in there, label 2B. That's it, should be able to close that now. And there it is. So I'm going to open that up. And just in case you didn't see it, rewind, play. Failed to move across, the eco site goes underneath. Click the about us, goes to the text that we created on that frame. Yeah, very simple. Okay, see you in the next lesson to talk about um, the uh, movie command, which is movie clips within flash files.